Gela Kesla, Nugwa am Ekzumka, Glu Joy, Gaya Klenlacha, Guasala, Glu, Mamalela Kala. Gela Kesla is to accept you in this present moment for who you are. Nugwa am, this is who I am Joy and Ekzumka. Ekzumka. I shine like the abalone amongst my people. Gayoklin Lacha. This is where I come from. My father and my mother. Guasala is where my father is from. Mamalelakala is where my mother is from. When I started this journey five years ago to learn my language, there were 60 roughly fluent speakers. Today, there stands roughly 45. We're losing our language. I don't want to lose our language. It's a very important cause that I have um, taken up. So I will start with this. I learned about eight years old. Can you picture that? I was just a little bit shorter. <laughs> and my grandfather uh, used to love to just, you know, every once in a while say something in Kwakula. And he said to me one day, and I remember it very vividly, he said, Gana Joy, little girl Joy, Gelat, come here. And I did, because you always listen to what your grandfathers and grandparents say, right? So I went and I sat with my gramps. My gramps. <laughs> and I sat with him and he took my hand, my wrist, and he held it like this. And he says, You listen. Okay. Kuma. Tzamala. Nula. Watla. Matzah? Kuma. Oh, ich gananam. You're a good girl. Tamala. Nula. Geta. Matzah? Tamala. Oh, ich gananam. Matzah? I forgot, Gramps. Oh, Dogwidas. You watch. Kuma. Zamala, Nula, Geta, Silta, Matzah, Nula. Oh, ich gananam. Matzah, Geta, oh, ich gananam. Matzah, Silta. I did it. <laughs> right on. My gramps was very proud of me. The next things he would try, he would tell me, the objects, the names of my facial features, the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips, the teeth, and even the ears. Oh, I got them. I got pretty good. And then I got to learn how to count to 10. And I just, you know, I was rocking this. I was doing really good. And that lasted for a good four or five years. I got to share my gramps with many of my uh, cousins who were roughly the same age and younger. And one of them is here today. And I, <clears throat> I lost my gramps the eve of my uh, 12th birthday. So my language acquisition hung on for about four to five years. And my, my stunted learning, it uh, took a lot out of me. I didn't want to learn because he wasn't with me. A few years later. <laughs> a few years later, probably when I was in my 20s, I started bugging my mom on the boats because I worked for my father, and I would bug my mom, Mom, how do you say 
like, uh, hello, how do you say goodbye? How do you say, uh, like, I love you? And my mom patiently led me down a road of one word at a time. You can't learn a language one word at a time. So to tell you the next part of how I got to get to the point of learning, my cousin Richard phoned me on, uh, in September or August of 2010, and he was so excited, so, so excited. I just saw a brochure, a little, little po uh, poster on the board. He said, <clears throat> it says, learn to speak Kwakwala. Oh, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this. I was like, wow, oh, this is really cool. Note to self, read the fine print. <laughs> Didn't know it was a ladder program into, uh, from the University of Victoria and the Quagilt Band to create teachers of our native language, of our Quagula language. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Teacher, toughest job. Seriously, toughest job, next to being a mother. Oh my goodness, so yeah. But once I started on that train, I was not getting off. Once I had a passion for my language and what I know, what it meant and how it was talked about, hearing my gramps, my gramps, I heard him when I was a little kid, I would, he would refer to his daughter, my mother, with one word, and I loved this word. I just, I still love this word. If I tell you this word, you'll love it too. I know you will. But my gramps, the way he said this word, that was the way he said it, the way he, he verbalized it, just his talk. When you hear about our language and how it's actually delivered, there's so much meaning behind it. It's not just words. They're not just something to say for the sake of. The word is kolayu. And I, I thought, man, what, I don't know, I'm just curious. You know, when I got older and started learning more about our language, what does this word mean? So I asked my mother one day, Mom, tell me what the word kolayu means. Boy, she thought about it. She thought about it for actually quite a long time. I said, um, she's like, I don't actually know what it means. Um, I mean, and she's like, no, I know what it means, but I can't, I can't tell you. That's my gramps. She, can't, she couldn't tell me what it means. And I thought, well, that's kind of interesting that my mom, she doesn't know what it means, or she can't explain it. It was the explanation that she couldn't quite convey. So I said, okay, to myself, I'll find a different person. Maybe they might be able to tell me in this language path that I'm on. And I said, <clears throat> one day to my mom, we had my um, uncle was visiting her house. Oh, that's my mom and dad. And um, that's the word, kolayu. My uncle, one of my uncles, who's a very knowledgeable man. And he was sitting at the table, and I said, uncle, What's the word kolayu mean? Like, do you have a definition of it? And he says, boy, right off the top of my head, I can tell you that it's something like dear or sweetie or loved one type thing. And I said, well, that kind of goes along with what my gramps said, right? You know, like we were his kids and his dears and sweeties and his babies. Okay. But he goes, no, it goes deeper than that. Okay, so I waited for a bit for him to tell me, and he says, it's almost like you could say, you are the reason for every breath that I take. I heard, wow, over here, that's what I said. <laughs> I said, uncle, are you kidding me? Wow. How, my gramps didn't just tell us that he loved us. He described the depth of his love for us. I think that's pretty awesome and pretty powerful, don't you think? So in learning my language, 
I knew I couldn't do it one word at a time. So the program helped me to fully immerse myself in different ways, shapes, and forms, and my mom is my master. She and I have little bits of conversations here and there and provided uh, some great excitement and fun entertainment for many people. My talk, I wanted you to let you know that in my talk, I went from my past to my present, who my, my mom, who my mom is. And in my future, I, I want to hear more of my language. It's a, it's a huge desire to hear more of my language. I want you to hear more of my language. That's my fight. Knowing that Olayu exists still today, that that one word still actually has meaning from this past to my mom today to that little one right there, it has to survive. It has to, it just has to. From the bottom of my bare feet to the bottom of my heart, I am going to do whatever it takes so that she knows what my grandfather felt when he said that word to my mom, to me, to all of his family. Please help me with that. Thank you for being present in this moment. Hem, that is all. <laughs>